What's up everybody, I'm Nate Rules from Nibble Nerds, and today we're going to be going through the second level of the Perilous Plains. This one is called Ambush. Now before we play this level, I'm going to note that there are forest tiles in this level, and therefore, because they're forest tiles, some shots may get lost in the trees. Oh, so that means this walkthrough, while we're, we've tested it and we're pretty sure it's 100% accurate, if a shot gets lost, I do have backup plans ready just in case that does happen. So we're going to go ahead and click into Ambush, and here we go. It's too quiet here. Maybe it'd be a good idea to set up some defenses, just in case. Alright, here's our map. Alright, for our sighted friends, I know we're saying, oh wow, this is a different map, and you are absolutely right. Pursuit is a prototype map of what we're hoping will be all the rest of the, pre all the maps. But this is what all the maps are going to look like in the future, because we're having some trouble with graphics and such, so for the foreseeable future, this is what we're going to be seeing for the rest of these videos. Alright, with that out of the way, we have some forest tiles at 3-1 and 4-1, some from 6-3 to 8-4, and then all the way down here in the corner, we got 1-7 to 2-2. So we're going to place some cannons, we're going to place them at 1-6, at 6-6, and at 8-6. Alright, let's begin the wave. Wait, it's a trap! Incoming! Well, can you really consider a trap, though, if we already knew it was coming? Eh, we'll just figure it out as we go. All right, so we have four zombies with two health. We got 1-1, one, 4-1, one, 5-1, one, one, and 8-1. So for our first move, we're just going to go up and end our turn. And remember, since these are all at two health, two hits is an insta-kill, so it'll make, us, make it easier for us to play at this point. So I'm just going to hit this guy twice and kill him. All right. I'm going to go right and then hit this guy. All right, can't expire. Alright, and here's what I was talking about earlier. This shot that I fired by 8-6 cannon got lost in the trees. So, in case of that emergency, the way we place them, there is still a plane style underneath them, which means the cannon will not miss its next shot. So all we gotta do is just end this turn. There we go, he's dead. Alright, wave one is complete. Let's move on to wave two. I'm going to recenter myself, and we're gonna place three more cannons. They're going to be going at 3-6, 4-6, and 7-6. Alright, let's begin the wave. There's still more of them. Hold the line! Alright, we got three zombies. They all have four health at 1-1, one, 4-1, one, one, and 8-1. So we're going to go ahead and go up and end this turn. Alright, and we're going to go to an old reliable tactic. We're going to hit this guy and then go down. And then we're going to hit this guy again and then go down again. Three can inspired. That's three kill. That's one kill. The other two are weak. Now we're gonna go right and end our turn. The reason we go right there is because that shot earlier from that cannon at 6-6 six, six could have gotten lost in the trees, and that's there why we put you there just in case something did happen. We need to kill him. But since it didn't, great! We just killed them all, and we beat this wave. Alright, so I'm gonna recenter myself for wave three. We have two spots on this row of cans we've been making, and we have six gold. So, naturally, let's just make two more cannons at 2-6 and 5-6. And now we have a full row of cannons, so we know that everything that goes through here is at least going to get hit. Great tactic for future waves. Alright. Here we go. To just keep coming, we have to get through. We have three zombies, and they all have four health at 3-1, 4-1, and 5-1. So we're just going to go ahead and go up and end our turn. Alright, he's right in front of us, so we're going to go back to that same tactic we used before. Hit him, and then go down. And then hit him, and go down again. Alright, we killed that guy in front of us. So all we have to do for this one is just skip this turn. Alright, that's wave 3 done. So far so good, guys. Alright, last wave. We have 6 gold, and we have a full row of cannons. So let's go away from cannons for now. Let's go ahead and place the cannon landmines at 6-2, 7-2, and 8-2. Why we do this? Well, it's not completely necessary, but it sure is a lot of fun, I will assure you. So we're going to recenter as well, and here's our final wave. Alright, we have 8 zombies. I know it looks like a big thing at first, we've never seen this many zombies before, but they all have 2 health. And lucky for us, we have a full row of cans down here just waiting for them. So we are going to go ahead and go up and left. And 
that's the sound of our landmines going off, and we have three kills. Alright. Next wave, we have these guys in front of us. We're going to hit this guy twice, and he's dead. And then we're going to repeat that cycle. Hit him twice. He's dead. Three cannons fire. And there we go. We survived. No time to rest. Hubert is escaping. We need to hurry. And from that noise, it sounds like we just beat the level, y'all. Well, thank you all for watching. That was the second level of the planes ambush. And we hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching.